Good to see you, James. What brings you to the clinic today? Doctor, I've noticed that baby Arslan doesn't move around as much as the other babies and he's tired faster. I'm worried there might be a problem with his muscles. I'll have the nurse run some blood work on baby Arslan to find out if there's a problem. I'll have her check for creatine kinase levels, which are present when muscle is deteriorated. If CK levels are high, then we'll run some genetic testing to see if Duchenne muscular dystrophy is present. I'll get on that right away, Doctor. Thank you. Doctor, we finished with baby Arslan's blood. We found elevated CK levels as well as a mutation in the C-terminal of dystrophin. All right, great. I'll go explain the findings to James. Based on elevated CK levels and genetic testing, we've concluded that baby Arslan has Duchenne muscular dystrophy, or DMD. What does that mean? Well... DMD is caused by an X-linked mutation on the dystrophin gene. Many different mutations can cause DMD, but Arslan's occurs in the C-terminal domain of dystrophin. This domain is required for dystrophin to interact with syntrophin, which has a PDZ domain. Neuronal nitric oxide synthase, or NNOS, has a PDZ domain too, which normally interacts with the PDZ domain of syntrophin. So ultimately, dystrophin can't interact with NNOS? That's right, James. The result is, the complex of syntrophin, dystrophin, and NNOS, along with other proteins, can't properly translocate to the muscular sarcoloma, because syntrophin is responsible for the sarcoloma translocation. Also, for reasons that have not yet been made completely clear, NNOS expression is decreased. Wait, why is NNOS important? NNOS produces NO and L-citrulline from oxygen and L-arginine. It also requires electrons from NADPH. NNOS requires tetrahydrobiopterin, FAD, FMN, and heme as cofactors. Additionally, calcium-bound calmodulin and zinc increases the rate of catalysis. NO is also a powerful vasodilator, so if NNOS isn't functioning, NO-mediated vasodilation is also reduced. So that means that the muscles aren't getting enough oxygen and nutrients to grow and contract. That's right, and NNOS is stuck in the cytosol and not in the sarcolemma where it belongs, so it's producing NO within the cytosol. Elevated cytosolic NO causes upregulation of HFE-associated genes. Atrogen 1 and MERV1. You mentioned that NNOS expression is decreased. What effects would less NNOS have on the muscles? NNOS allosterically upregulates PFK, a critical enzyme in glycolysis and muscle metabolism. Without this boost in activity, PFK is underactive and muscles do not get the energy they need. NO increases the activity of CREP, a transcription factor that increases NNOS through a positive type feedback. Where there's less NNO being produced, there's less NNOS, and therefore less NNOS within the muscle itself. And if that wasn't bad enough, caviolins, which are scaffolding proteins responsible for inhibiting NNOS and are responsible for the tight production of NO, are upregulated in DMD, further reducing NNOS activity. That all sounds really complicated. Yes, NNOS activity is kept tightly regulated by a number of regulatory mechanisms. Unfortunately, DMD is one of many potential problems that can arise when NNOS goes out of control. At the moment, DMD is a terminal illness, but we can't help mask our salon symptoms by giving them a lifelong treatment of corticosteroids. Corticosteroids are believed to help promote muscular growth and repair. This will increase our salon's life expectancy by about two to five years. However, he will continue to see worsening symptoms throughout his life. That sounds really terrible, but it will take it. That's all we can do. Good afternoon, James. Arslan, how have your symptoms been since the last time we spoke? Well, since my 16th birthday, I feel like my symptoms have really taken a turn for the worse. As you can see, I'm still in a wheelchair and my limbs feel really weak. I also feel a shortness of breath sometimes. Doctor, I feel, I'm really worried that Arslan is reaching the end stages of his condition. Is there anything we can do to save him? Well, there is an experimental treatment going on in rats involving genetic therapy. However, it hasn't been tested in humans yet, so I'm not quite sure if we can use it with Arslan. 
doctor, we have to try. Yeah, I want to do it. I'll do anything to get out of this world. No, guys, we don't know what could happen. I mean, you could die. Can, can you at least tell us who will give us experimental therapy? No, guys, I can't do that. I'm sorry. Please, like, I'll do... Please, please doctor, you're gonna No, us. guys, you're going to have to stop. You're going to have to leave my office now. He must know someone who will give us the therapy, but he's not telling us. Don't worry, son. I'll find someone who will give you that therapy. Arslan, I found an ad for a mad scientist who might be able to give you that experimental therapy the doctor was talking about. Well, let's go right now, Dad. Hello! Welcome to my castle. What brings you here today? We've come seeking an experimental gene therapy for my son Arslan, who has the Shane muscular dystrophy. Our doctor wouldn't give it to us but my son would love nothing more than to be free from his ailment forever. Yeah, I don't think I could handle being in this wheelchair for the rest of my short life. Even if I have to risk everything, I want a chance at a cure. The way this therapy works is that your dystrophin is mutated at the C-terminal, and therefore any dystrophin produced by this gene is not able to interact with centrophin. Well, and centrophin is responsible for moving NOS to the muscle sarcolemma via its PUZ domain, right? That's what my dad told me. Yeah, that's right. So we need to give you an unmutated version of the gene to correct the problem. So normally, we would inject a transgenic virus into your cells that have a gene. However, because I am a mad scientist, I can use this laser to inject the genes directly into your cell and they can be expressed. Well, that sounds terrifying, but well, let's do it. All right, are you ready? Well, my NOS feels properly translocated and expressed. I can literally feel my NOS producing more NO. Great, I can get out there and take on the world. 